Hi everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with another fragrance review. And this time we're going to review Angel Cuvion, which means peony in French. And it's by Thierry Mouglet. And this is in the Eau de Parfum concentration. And this one was created in 2005 under the Garden of Stars series. And it's been discontinued since then. But this is supposed to be kind of the lighter, fresher, floral, you know, easier introduction to the Angel scent. And Angel, as you probably know, is one of the most hugely popular fragrances, you know, around for women especially. And um, this is supposed to be kind of a, an easier introduction, something that, you know, anybody can pick up and really enjoy. Um, let's talk about the notes list here. The notes list is uh, peony, patchouli, pepper, rose, vanilla, and lily of the valley. And let me spray it real quick so you can smell it real quick. So in this one, the, the top three notes that you would think of um, that first hit you are definitely the peony, definitely the patchouli, and definitely the pepper. Uh, the peony doesn't smell artificial, and you know that's something that I've noticed with a lot of fragrances is that sometimes the floral notes can smell kind of artificial and just wrong. But in this case, it smells you know really fresh and kind of bright, um, you know, and it goes really well with roses, which is I think one reason why they added some roses in there. Uh, the patchouli is kind of a difficult note, but it's one that's really characteristic of the Angel line in particular. You know, Angel is known for its really heavy hitting patchouli. It's something that, you know, Angel is very much a love or hate type of fragrance. And in this one, it gives you kind of the, the reminiscence of, of traditional Angel, but without, you know, as much of the strength in the patchouli. Uh, the patchouli is definitely there, and especially for the first few hours, you definitely smell it. Um, but it is not so overwhelming and lingering in the same way that traditional angel is. Uh, the pepper is also definitely there when you first spray it. You know, the, the pepper and the peony kind of play off of each other and they create kind of this, you know, interesting tug of war in between freshness and spiciness. So there's definitely some spiciness there and it does linger throughout the perfume. Um, the rose, after it wears down for a little bit, you know, for the first two hours or so, you smell just those three notes, you know, the pepper, the peony, and the patchouli. But once it wears down a little bit, um, you kind of get the rose and it comes forward and it gives you kind of this soft, clean, powdery sweetness. And then also the vanilla. The vanilla does give you kind of a, you know, almost a gourmand slightly feeling to it. It gives you, you know, the powderiness, the little bit of sweetness. Um, it just makes it overall a little bit softer. And the Lily Valley is supposed to give it kind of a freshness and a greenery kind of type of note and to add to the floral roundness of the whole composition. Uh, but it's really difficult to pick out. I mean, when you first smell it, you can pick out the first three notes. But after it wears down a little bit, it's very difficult to pick out. You know, you can pick out the rose and you can pick out the vanilla because you know there's something sweet in there. Uh, but the Lily of the Valley is very hard to pick out. I, I couldn't, you know, really peg it for anything in particular. Um, overall, it's got kind of a, um, the peony in it has kind of a comparison to Estee Lauder's Pleasures. You know, with the fresh kind of floral brightness in there, it has some similarity. Uh, but the difference between, um, you know, type of Pleasures and that, that type of, you know, floral fragrance that you would normally think of with peony and the angel pivion um, is the the difference in the, the heavy hitting notes. This is kind of a departure from just a typical floral sweet kind of nice fragrance because of the pepper and because of the patchouli they kind of brighten up the peony and they make it stand out and you know peony tends to be this type of note that blends in with a lot of fra floral fragrances and doesn't stick out as well but in this case you know the the contrast between the, the sweet muskiness and earthiness of the patchouli and, you know, the bright kind of spicy pepperiness of the pepper and then, you know, the, the, the soft but bright, you know, clean peony, the kind of contrast with each other and it makes it interesting. This is not, um, you know, my favorite fragrance. I definitely like it and I think it's really interesting. This is definitely one that, you know, I enjoyed wearing. I thought it was, you know, something that was a departure from the usual and I can see where they were going. You know, this isn't what I would think of as a, a sweet, you know, young girly type of fragrance. 
Um, you know, if you took out the pepper, maybe a little bit, but the the pepper kind of makes it gives it an edge. It makes it feel a little bit more grown up, a little bit more interesting. So that's definitely something that you know I really enjoyed. Um, overall, I would say that this definitely has a long lasting um, you know type of power to it. This is not something that you know wears off quickly. You spray it on in the morning and it lasts you know all day. Uh, when it wears down, you're just going to smell kind of like a soapiness, maybe a little hint of musk. Um, it, it's very, it, it's a very light floral, very light, sweet, soapy, you know, cleanness that you get overall. Um, and the silage is moderate on this one. This is, for the first few hours, it's definitely a bit stronger. You know, it feels like typical angel in the fact that it's a very intense beginning. But it wears down, which kind of sets it apart from traditional angel. So, you know, I'm not actually a huge fan of angel myself. You know, it doesn't wear well on me. But, you know, I know it's a well-loved one. But if you're not a fan of Angel, this one I would definitely try because even though I didn't like Angel, I actually really liked this one and I thought it was interesting. So, um, but if you like Angel, this would definitely be one I would suggest trying because it really fits within the line that he's created. Um, so I think this one is definitely year round. You know, you can get a lot of wear out of it. I don't know if I can peg it to night at all. It, to me, it feels a little bit more daytime. Um, but it's pretty much seasonless. This is just whenever you feel like wearing it, that type of fragrance. And as it's discontinued, it might be a little bit difficult to find, um, but it's still out there floating around if you're interested. Um, but I hope you guys learned something from this and that you like this content. And if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with some more fun sampling. Bye!